Hey everyone, today we're here to give you a recap of the project we've been working on together here at the office for the past two months, the 3D printable dinosaur chair. If you follow us on social media, you may know what we were talking about. However, if you don't, this will be just as exciting for you as it was for us the first time we came up with the idea. The idea for this was first designed using a graphic tablet by Daniel, our creative director. This allowed us to see the incredible potential of the project. Thomas, our CEO, then took this design into ZBrush and made it into a three-dimensional model. Firstly, he started by focusing on a general design, then by considering all the constraints of the project, he moved on to adapting the model for filament printing. Our desired goal was to design and print this model using no supports at all, thus allowing for us to use the entire build plate for the model itself. Important to the design was also the fact we did not want to have to paint anything after finishing, because that would make the project harder for Jonathan, our filament project manager, who once Thomas finished the design took care of printing the final model. Thomas's final task was to cut the model optimally to allow for easy printing and assembly. The goal for this project was to convert our design into a model we could physically sit on. This was a daunting task alone, but we knew it was possible as we had recently launched our new filament slicer. For the two giant parts, the tongue and the body, we used the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max filament printer. With a giant printing volume of over 40 cubic centimeters, this was perfect. In order to rapidly print this model, we used a giant layer height of 0.32 millimeters for all layers. Even with this layer height, we knew the print would still take too long, so we also upgraded to a 0.6 nozzle as well. But not just any ordinary upgrade, we used a special CHT nozzle from Bontech. With this special nozzle, we were able to increase the rate at which the melted filament was pushed out of the nozzle, thus helping us print even faster. After some slicing and testing, we found a sweet spot of around 4-5% to infill or density as you may know it. This infill was enough to be able to safely sit on the chair without wasting too much material and time. Each part was already set to take a giant 122 hours of print time and a total of 3 kilograms of PLA. And so we were finally ready to print. We decided to use on this model filament from a local French manufacturer called Arianplast. For all the model's small parts like the teeth and eyes, we used the BiQ Hurricane filament printer. No specific upgrades were needed for these parts. We printed them using a standard 0.4mm nozzle and a 0.2mm layer height for a smooth looking finish. So that was the easy part. For the rest of the process, however, we found ourselves facing many problems. Firstly, when we printed the Dino Tongue, everything started well until there was a power outage. Even when the power came back, the printer unfortunately didn't restart and then once again had to start the print from scratch. But to safeguard against the previous issue, we connected an external battery to make sure if we lost power again, the printer wouldn't stop. Next, during the tongue printing process, we decided to use the biggest roll of filament we could find. The one we used ended up holding a whopping 2.3 kilograms worth of filament. We did this so we would only have to change the spool once during the entire print. However, this kind of spool size was hard to manage because the printers we were using, like many others, didn't have any way to hold that big roll of filament. We solved this by building our very own filament holder made out of stacks of boxes to hold the filament spools above the printer. However, this homemade structure was moving a lot and we were continuously on the edge of our seats, scared that it would fall over and we'd be back to square one again. So this is where it gets fun. When the first tongue print failed, we sadly realized we didn't have enough filament left on the big filament spool. So the whole time during the second print, we had to keep manually changing the filament, and sadly, some of the filament used in the tongue was older and drier than others, so you can see different shades of reds in the final print. All the other parts, however, printed great on the first try and the remaining parts were rapidly taking shape. At this point, we were thankful for no more issues as this project was taking long enough already. The last part was assembling all the pieces together. We used PVC solid plastic glue to put everything together and once assembled we waited a whole day for it to dry before testing to see if the model was strong enough to support human weight. The next morning with our fingers crossed we tried the chair and guess what? It was a success. We were relieved and many congratulatory high fives were had around the office. In the end the total printing time was around 300 hours or nearly 13 days in total. We're so happy this project was a success. It took a lot of hard work from many people at the office along with a lot of supplies and equipment. However, the results speak for itself and we hope to see many of you trying this project yourselves at home. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more exciting projects from us in the future.